Hey, what's up, guys? Um, you're just recording a Pew Pew University off stream for the first time, actually. Um, so before we actually get into it, I just want to say that I'll be uploading a lot more videos, and my goal will be one video per week. So, you know, without further ado, that's all I really wanted to say. And, um, you know, I guess we'll start by introducing what I want to be teaching in the first place. And this one's actually really simple. This one's not like a super advanced technique, but what it really is is bringing to light the options that you get out of simply turning around. But a lot of times when you want to turn around, a lot of people just dash, you know, they do something. But I want to just highlight how important it is to just simply turn your character around in the certain situations that um, the qualities of turning around really shine. So, I think the, the classic situation is is the PC turnaround, you know, you're in your walk and you're going at almost full speed or you're going at full speed and you turn around your momentum makes you slide off. So here I turn around and I'll slide off. That's the simple one, <coughs> you know, PC walk, PC turnaround, all that stuff. But um, there's some less conventional ways to use this that I found are really good. So, for instance, you know, if I have this falcon here in center stage, sometimes it's really good if I'm this close to turn around, is to way dash forward and turn around down tilt. So, you know, this doesn't have to necessarily be a cross up, but let's say we're right here and I have my back turned. It's good for me to wave dash forward and do a turn around down tilt, even though I just screwed it up twice right there. There you go. So there's lots of ways that you can practice this. I like to just travel the stage doing it. But, um, you know, for Marth, for Fox, you know, you have a very long down tilt, so going for something like this is really good. Um, and, you know, <coughs> you can do this with all your moves. Excuse me. So, you know, if I want to hit the back side of my up tilt, which, uh, you know, I should be able to hit because I'm a professional smasher. There we go. Is, uh, you know, the technique is equally good because I can just get in, turn around, and do it. So one that I think, personally, is is the best one. We, I, I call it the best one. Is, um, when you walk forward, and you know how we did the turnaround to get the PC drop? The real one that I think is the best is kind of like a smash for reverse aerial rush, which in case you don't know what that is, is they would run forward and turn around right before they jump and they do an aerial. So uh, the input for this is a little different from Smash 4 because in Smash 4 you can do it out of a run. This also includes Brawl. But um, <clears throat> in Melee you have to do it all within your walk. So you can only turn around in your walk because if you try to turn around after running, you just kind of do this, and you're, it's awkward, and it's slow, and, you know, it's just not good. Um, so, this, you can see that it hardly looks like I turn around when I do this, but I'm actually doing back air. I'll turn around, and there's my back air. So the reason why this is good, especially for Marth, is, you know, let's say you're, you're edge guarding against a Peach, someone who goes high, and, you know, forward air has no chance of killing... <clears throat> whatsoever. So, you're pretty much forced to use back air to kill them. But, if you're going to advance on them, you know, you can't just jump in forward air, because as I said, that'll probably end up just saving them or they'll live. So, it's good to walk forward and turn around, and right when you turn around right here, this is when you can do your jump. So, I'll show you how it looks right here. Uh, and I'll, you know, we'll just always mess it up the first time. There it is. So, this benefits lots of characters who have, you know, a kind of differing hitbox facing forward versus facing backwards. And so, a really good demonstration of this is Fox and Falco, because that back air is so huge. <coughs> you can do it at max speed. So I have the speed of a short hop. And it, it maintains that speed if I do it well enough. So normally a backer, a standing backer, would only bring me this far. But if I have all this forward momentum, see I go all the way forward. So this is really important, guys. Um, every character can do it. Certain characters benefit from it more, obviously. Um, but yeah, you know, get creative with it. 
there's lots of things that you can do. You can even PC walk through here, hold down, and uh, get a back air, which is really hard to do. But there you go, I just got it. Um, yeah, I the characters that I would really recommend doing this on are the, all the ones that have amazing back airs. So like, you know, DK, who pretty much needs to be facing backwards. Um, Samus for the kills, we get a sweet spot back air. And uh, Ice Climbers too, because the back air is great. You know, there's tons of characters that this is good for. So, I hope that you guys have learned a thing or two. And catch you guys next time.